Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Friday, April 16th, 2021. Good Friday evening, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning in here for Talking Fitchburg. We've got a jam-packed show for you coming up today. We'll get you the latest headlines here uh, as we work into the weekend. We're going to take a look back at this week's Telecommunicators Week. Uh, we want to highlight and make sure you have a chance to uh, learn a little bit more about our telecommunicators right here in the city of Fitchburg. Uh, we have dispatchers uh, in the police department. I'll check with uh, Chad Brecklin as we uh, look back at an interview we did earlier this week. Plus, we're going to check in with uh, Kimberly over at the Fitchburg Star. She'll be here uh, giving us an update uh, what's going on uh, here uh, for recent meetings and uh, other news uh, in Fitchburg. So fun to get to news people together and start talking. We always have a good time uh, talking with Kimberly. So we'll get to that here in just a little bit of time. Uh, for your headlines as we uh, go into the weekend, we start with the blood drive. want to make sure you get this on your calendar. Uh, we are uh, thrilled, it says here, from the Fitchburg uh, Fire Department to be hosting the Oak Bank's annual blood drive again this year at station number two at Marketplace Drive on Friday, May 7th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can schedule today. Yeah, today you can get scheduled for this. And uh, that's at uh, rcblood.org. And uh, you can uh, look for the city of Fitchburg. Uh, or, you know, they have kind of a map of where uh, there'll be blood drives going on, but a great way to get signed up, get signed up early and uh, help uh, uh, save a life, donate blood, uh, and uh, that uh, will help uh, anybody and everybody who needs it. All right, over at the uh, Fitchburg uh, or Fish Hatchery Road and the Fitchburg construction update, uh, we did have one of those yesterday uh, with Andrew McFadden. But uh, quickly, if you didn't get a chance to see or haven't drove through that area, we've got some video here to show you exactly what that looks like. A new traffic pattern was put in place uh, starting on Tuesday. Uh, this is north and south of Fish Hatchery Road construction. Now share the southbound lanes. And uh, Andrew was kind enough uh, to grab the new Fact TV van and uh, pass his way through here. So you can see it's side by tra uh, side by side traffic uh, one uh, lane in each direction uh, going through uh, the construction here and you can see on the uh, northbound side they are doing that construction so all of that construction happening on your right there happens all the way through uh, mid uh, July or July all weather dependent of course there is access, of course, to the businesses and uh, apartment complexes that are on the northbound side. So you can take care of that. And yeah, it's not, uh, it, it seems like it should be longer, but really it's pretty easy to navigate uh, in and out of there. Uh, just uh, plan ahead when you're coming into those construction zones. Stay safe. Know that uh, some of the bus uh, stops have changed as well. So uh, some of them have either been uh, removed uh, temporarily or uh, again, the, the points are a little bit different. Uh, so check ahead if you are using uh, the public transportation there as those have changed. All right, uh, continuing with Severe Weather Awareness Week uh, in Wisconsin. Today's final uh, Severe Weather uh, Awareness tip is uh, heat safety. And being prepared is ensuring you have the capacity to take care of your needs through an emergency. We seem to have more and more warm days out there ahead. So I uh, want to make sure that you understand uh, see, uh, heat safety uh, and what's going on. So heat can equal heat exhaustion and heat stroke. The number one cause of weather-related fatalities in the U.S. is heat. Uh, and that's why it's included in the severe weather. It is a severe uh, when it does hit, and especially if it hits for long periods of time. Uh, and especially, too, you add in other things uh, like dew points uh, in uh, air temperatures and even uh, at night. Some of these uh, really uh, dangerous heat events, it can be hard to breathe um, and or get cooled down. So make sure you drink plenty of water during uh, heat events. Uh, check on your neighbors and friends. Help uh, move storm windows and install air conditioning units for those who need it. Check the back seat uh, for babies. 10 minutes is all it takes for a baby to uh, pass away uh, from uh, heat uh, exhaustion or uh, uh, just heat related uh, incidents. So gotta check the back seats every time you head out. And of course, uh, the most vulnerable people are elderly infants and young children. People with disabilities who use certain medications, those who are outdoors uh, in the hot setting and individuals who are air conditioning uh, that they don't use uh, or have uh, existing AC. All those can be problem areas. So act fast uh, to save lives uh, during that. And when we know there's hot weather coming in, we always jump in here on Talking Fitchburg and make sure that uh, you can stay safe. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest. We'll take a look back at an interview we did this week about our telecommunicator, uh, telecommunicators for Telecommunicators Appreciation Week. It's right here on Talking Fitchburg. Whew. 